It's a pleasure for me to be with you on this 10th anniversary of the assassination of Shabazz Bhatti. Uh, I want to, to greet you, to extend my best wishes, and to thank the Bhatti family and International Christian Voice for all of the incredible work you are doing uh, building on Shabazz's legacy. Uh, I have always appreciated the opportunity in the past to be with you in person at these commemoration events, uh, and I am grateful for this opportunity to interact with you virtually as well. Uh, I wanted to reflect today, uh, first of all, on uh, the inspiration that Shabazz provides uh, for those of us who are in public life. Uh, as a politician, uh, I reflect often on the legacy of Shabazz and others, the example they set uh, in terms of being willing to sacrifice uh, for fundamental principles in defense of human dignity, pluralism, and fundamental human rights. Uh, those of us in politics are often subject to different kinds of pressure, uh, to, to the possibility that if we don't vote a certain way, speak a certain way, take a certain position, it could put our career at risk. And unfortunately, many politicians uh, are uh, cowered by those forms of pressure. Uh, Shabazz was someone who faced something far greater than the pressure we could ever imagine in our system, and yet he didn't cower. He stood his ground. He stood for what was right, and he knew what was coming. He knew the threats that were posed to him, and he, he expressed his complete confidence in God, uh, in the, the meaning of, of the cross, that in his, in, and he was willing, uh, knowingly, uh, to give his life for his principles. That is an example uh, that all of us in public life need and need uh, to reflect on, uh, that, that it, it, whatever forms of pressure we face, that we can stand up to that pressure and stay true uh, to, to these core principles uh, that Shabazz stood for. Uh, Shabazz was such, a, such an example, such an inspiration uh, for me that I, that I named my first son uh, after his, his first name. So uh, many, many of us know him as Shabazz, but his full name was Clement Shabazz Bhatti. Uh, and uh, my second child, our son, uh, we named Judah Clement Genes, uh, in part uh, recognizing the, uh, the legacy of Shabazz Bhatti and hoping that our son uh, would grow up to have the same confidence, uh, courage, uh, and principle in the face of adversity uh, that, uh, that Shabazz did. Uh, I would uh, invite and indeed challenge all of my, my colleagues in politics, but also people in other areas of life where you may be subject uh, to pressure, to compromise on your principles, to, to stand firm, uh, to, to, to recognize the importance of, uh, of never relenting uh, when you are, are seeking justice, uh, when you're seeking to defend the human rights of others. Secondly, I wanted to, to, to just talk about uh, Shabazz's legacy in terms of uh, defending pluralism and religious freedom, fighting for that in Pakistan, and challenging other countries around the world uh, to support uh, forces in Pakistan seeking uh, that greater, uh, greater recognition and respect for uh, religious freedom and the rights of minorities. Uh, of course, uh, a, a big part of uh, Shabazz's final mission was advocating uh, for uh, changes around the blasphemy law and advocating in particular for Asya Bibi. Uh, Asya Bibi uh, was eventually uh, exonerated and freed, uh, a, a, great, a great victory uh, that, uh, that owes so much uh, to Shabazz and others who heroically uh, stood up for her case. But there are others. There continue to be many, many uh, horrific abuses of the blasphemy law and other violations of fundamental human rights. Uh, so those of us uh, in Canada and around the world must and do renew our call uh, for uh, Pakistan to respect human rights, to respect its, its international obligations, uh, really to respect its founding creed, the, the commitments of its founders uh, to, to recognizing the, the role and the vitality of minorities within the country. Uh, and also in terms of this legacy, uh, we, we note how Shabazz's visit to Canada was instrumental in inspiring and pushing for the creation of the Office of Religious Freedom, an office that did so much good uh, promoting pluralism, democracy, and human rights uh, in Pakistan, but also uh, in other countries. Thank you again uh, for this opportunity. Uh, thank, you, thank you, Shabazz, uh, for your inspiration, for your incredible work. Uh, God bless all of you.